Welcome back to the High Voltage Light Electric Vehicle channel. This video will look at a design for a modular rear hub, one that would let people use pretty much any combination of brake disc, sprocket or spokes with any axle width they needed. This is part of a Discord community project to make the amazing frames that Elite produce more accessible and easy to use with mid-drive motors like the lightning rods big block. One of the hardest things to get right, especially in these times of part shortages, is a rear hub that fits with all the different parts that are in a rear wheel assembly for a mid-drive bike. I'm trying to find a bit more time to show some of the design and development ideas that are done at high voltage. Inspiration is one of the biggest parts of what we do, and hopefully by showing some of this work, you'll be inspired to perhaps design something yourself, or perhaps look at aspects of building light electric vehicles from a different perspective. I personally use Fusion 360, which is a very powerful piece of CAD or computer-aided design software that lets me bring to life the things that I picture in my head. You can actually use the vast majority of Fusion 360 for free with some limitations, which is pretty awesome. So the way I want this hub to work is to split it down into its component parts and function. And at this end, we have the disc and it mounts a Magura floating point rotor. This part also has room in it for a wheel bearing to be inserted. And into this bearing, you would then have the axle bushing. By having this a separate part though, it could be changed for a different rotor, like this one from a KTM 65. And this has a four bolt pattern, but really any disc could be used by changing essentially one component part of the hub. The disc brake component is spaced out from the next functional part, which is the flange. This is the part that you thread through the spokes of the wheel. The one in this model has four millimeter spoke holes with a 36 hole pattern, but that part could be remade to accommodate thicker spokes or have a 32 hole pattern to match a different rim. What I found was that when people buy hubs to build out Elite bikes, they often drill out the holes to allow for larger spokes, enabling motorcycle rim to be used. As the bikes can be quite powerful, there's definitely a desire to utilize thicker spokes. The left and right flanges are separated with a component, which means that this width could be enlarged or narrowed, you know, depending on the specifications required or what's available for a particular dropout or swing arm width. The final disc here is for the sprocket or a pulley if a belt was to be used. And again, by having this modular, it means that pretty much any kind of sprocket could be used. And that gives a lot of flexibility to use 219 chain or 420 chain or even the larger motorcycle kind. All that has to be set really is the bolt pattern for this individual part. By using spacers all the way across here, it means that it could be adapted to be 150 mil width or 160 mil width. You just add or remove spacers depending on what you needed. Right now, the idea I've got to join it all together was to use rods to go all the way through the structure. But this is very much in development, so I'm sure there are other ways to do this and tie it all in. The design here is deliberately simple because there's very little pointing adding in nice chamfers and detail while the concept is being fleshed out. There are many things that will need to be refined with this before I even consider making any parts in metal and trying it out. Fortunately, because I 3D print though, I can show you some physical test parts which I ran off just to see what it felt like as an item. I'm just using some bolts here to hold these demonstration parts together. And if they look crude and chunky, you'd be right. Because as I said earlier, this is just to verify and test a concept, not to have beautiful looking parts. And this hub is not intended for electric bicycles, but the frames that are made by Elik. So these are light electric vehicles that we push in north of 10 kilowatts in many cases. I wanted the parts to be simple and I want them to be easy to make and cheap to make. I want this to be something that could be made essentially anywhere. So in many ways, the less cuts and tool paths, the better, as it reduces the complexity of machinery required, as well as the time to manufacture. From this point, the design will get refined and we'll try and determine what the best value for performance parts are. In today's shortages, what parts are available even. Although with a modular system, the possibilities are endless as to what parts can be used, I think it would be a good idea to start with some of the more common stuff for bolt patterns, as well as for spoke hole sizes. I'd love to hear from people on this, thoughts, ideas, information on bolt patterns. 
And if people are interested in taking part, then you can have a copy of the file so far. And all of this will get updated on Discord, so feel free to jump on there too. Thanks for watching High Voltage. Cheers.